what is going on? It's your buddy DPS18. It's been a little while since I've been on a bike. And uh, out here, actually making my way into work. Sunday, very beautiful day, Ju uh, June 20, June 21st. We're looking at about 90 degrees right now. About to head on to Conic Parkway going south. Of course, I am going to work, so I'm going south. Otherwise, I probably would be going north just to uh, check out the beautiful scenery going northbound because northbound is really beautiful that is always a beautiful ride don't have the bags back yet and you probably can't see I have the Sony here on the second view over here so I always come through here sometimes and you'll have some clouds hanging through these mountains you know depending on when you come through if it's like a, a really nice morning man it's, it's just beautiful you have some clouds hanging up in those mountains up there. It's really nice. So, we're just gonna make our way on down here, down at Taconic. Left lane is a little better for motorcycles. If you're gonna be in that right lane, you're gonna wanna be towards the left side of the right lane because there's some sewer dips there. And they are a little bit awkward. And so, yeah, I've been uh, really appreciating all of the comments and the views on uh, the West Virginia trip videos and Mercade videos, man, I really do appreciate that. I really love that. Family and I just got back from a trip up to Lake George, and uh, before that I dropped the bags off, ordered up the paint to get them painted. Man, that paint is not cheap, you know. Woo! Cost me about 200 bucks all in all for the paint. And sent it out to my dad's buddy who uh, is going to paint them up for me. I took them all apart, took both sides off, and gave them in. Uh, the right side wasn't too bad, but there were some areas of it that could have used a little touching up. So he's going to take care of that for me. Uh, uh, whatever he ends up wanting, no, no problem. Give it to him, it's fine. Um, usually he doesn't really charge much because knowing the guy since I was friggin' young as heck, and him and my dad are like the closest friends, and so it's actually pretty cool. Uh, haven't gotten a crash bar yet, there's just a lot of financial stuff going on right now, and I kind of have to ease up and two trips and you know it's just a lot of finance stuff so sometimes you have to kind of pick and choose when you you know you have to go easy on the spending <laughs> I'm sure as many of you know and sometimes you know that financial reasons can make you feel a little a little down at times and you really can't you try, try not to let it you know and I hope that you guys do the same try not to let you know finances um, drive you up a wall but uh, you know sometimes that feeling can I guess you could say feel very involving There's a lot of people out today I mean it's a weekend you know usually on the weekdays I kind of have this road to myself for the most part but here I am, following a cager. Gonna have to get around some of these guys. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I try not to, I've been trying not to let it get me down. You know, sometimes it feels like as you're getting ahead and you're saving and, you know, you're trying to put money away and pay extra towards certain things and then some things things sometimes life just happens you know like the wife backed into one of our brick pillars and you know gave that a good whack and uh yeah so that tore up the back of the van a little bit back bumper cover and rear light so got to uh so those are repairs i've got to make I mean, but the good thing was I found that you can order the actual bumper cover off of eBay, painted for $179. She was like, well, 
uh, you know, Bruce, can't you just slap it back on? And I look at I look at the bumper, and the tabs are all torn off. I'm like, nah, babe, this ain't going back on. It's an older car. It's a 2008, you know, but I, I still care for it. It's in, it is in rough shape. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to say it's not, but, you know, it's a family car, and it's not like it's just two people, a two-person car, so, it, or a one-person car. You got five, five people riding in this thing most times, four people most times, so, uh, and it's got 212,000 miles, and we've taken it on multiple trips to Florida, and, you know, we've gone through three water pumps, and two uh two main belts <laughs> so it's uh you know it's it's seen its share of uh of jazz it's it's definitely seen its share of jazz and uh it's held up pretty good man i, mean, I really can't complain you know we've paid off for it and you know we right now we're working on sending extra payments for the house and wanting to get that paid. I'd love to get that paid off for by the time it's time to retire from my job. So, um, that's, you know, that's one of our primary goals. And I know a lot of guys, they see me do certain bike videos and things with motorcycles. And, you know, a lot of it is entertainment. It's, it's well, except for the gold wing. That was fun. That was entertainment too. Don't get me wrong. But I was always curious as to what that was like. And if that would be a motorcycle that I would consider once we reach that point of two up riding it, and it would be, but the bad is just, man, it's, it's the storage, you know, it's, and for two up riding, it just looks tight. I mean, it's hard to move to a motorcycle that's tighter than your V-Star 1300. I mean, faster, of course, indeed, handles better, of course, okay, fine, but comfort-wise, tighter, I don't know about that part. Anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, like any American family, you know, we have these American goals, and, and a lot of, these are the goals that are usually in my mind a lot of the time, many, many of, much of the time, and, um, you know what, I'm just out here taking a nice little cruise to work, and this guy in the right lane, I'm doing 57 miles per hour, and I'm kind of just enjoying this nice cruise, through the Taconic State Parkway because this is such a beautiful area to come through. I know a lot of people are in a rush. And, yeah, I, I gotta get to work, but I'm not in a rush. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm just enjoying the ride. You know, and this is a big part of why I ride. You know, I get out here and ride and keep an eye on my surroundings, but I'm enjoying the ride. Yes, I just wanted to thank you guys uh, for a lot of your support. You know, a lot of you guys that uh, take the time and come and comment and, and watch these videos. And, you know, I, I know I put up some long videos and some people don't like that. But, you know what? I understand if you don't like it and you don't want to watch it. I, I understand. You know, it's okay. It's alright. I'm pretty sure I have... If you feel like it, I have shorter videos that you can watch and you can view and enjoy. So, on that note, this is the best one a wishing you all a safe and prosperous summer. And if you're feeling a little stressed and things are kind of bothering you, hey man, just jump on your bike, take a ride, and uh, just relax. Enjoy the ride. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.